Hi, my name is Rohit Kilnani. I'm from NDTV in India. Lovely to meet you, Rohit. Hi, Lisa. Good to see you. Um, firstly, congratulations. I really enjoyed your movie. My Thank first you. question, obviously, is where did this absolutely unique idea come from? <laughs> oh, well, you know, it came from a very personal place when, when I was writing it. I was pregnant at the time and full of all these expectations and excitements about the baby to come. Uh, but also I was dealing with loss because my grandfather passed away at that time. And um, when I went to help my grandmother go through his belongings, I, I found this old photograph that was very meaningful to me because he'd always had a plaque on his house that had the word Suki Lin. And whenever I asked him what Suki Lin meant, uh, he would say, oh, it was just a name that I liked. Now, my grandfather lived in the north of England for the majority of his life for 50 or 60 years. Uh, but going through the attic, I found this old photograph of this lovely lady, and it was labeled on the back, Suki Lin. And he kept oh. it all those years. And I figured something about her had stuck in his memory and how important that memory must have been. And it started my exploration into the themes that would later become the basis for the film. Wow, what a beautiful backstory. Thank you for sharing. Um, you know, what does uh, someone accomplished like uh, and successful and talented like Hugh Jackman add to the project? Uh, ev absolutely everything. You know, uh, he is such a talent and so magnetic to watch that you can't have a film be successful if you don't feel a connection to the lead. And Nick Bannister, who is Hugh's character, is in almost every scene of the film. So I knew you needed somebody who could be an action star and a leading romantic hero, but who could also explore really complicated emotions and uh, portray them with a real truth. And there was no one for me but, but Hugh in that sense. Nice. Uh, what was it like to shoot these scenes? Because, you know, there's so much water. It's mostly dark. Where did you all shoot this? Uh, it was so fun shooting these film uh, the, these scenes. When, when we were shooting the water scenes, I, I shot them mostly practical. So we actually had built in the middle of New Orleans, a slice of Miami, and we flooded it with about three feet of water. So wow. I got to direct from boats and surfboards and wearing <laughs> interesting wet gear and just kind of trudging through the waves. And it was, it was just a blast. It felt like being in, in a dream. Do you want to tell the audience what's the message about this water and, you know, big city? Uh, in terms of the water itself? Um, uh, yeah, it's, it's like global warming will lead us to all this, right? Yeah, I mean, for me, global warming, you know, this has, this film has elements of science fiction, but those elements do not include global warming, which is just a fact that we are confronting right. as a world. And so when I was thinking about depicting the future, especially of a coastal city like Miami, I knew for it to be realistic, I would have to portray the changing landscape due to the rising ocean. Right, and uh, you know, if, uh, if I would ask you, uh, if you could go in that chamber and recall your past, what part of your life would you like to watch? Oh gosh, um, <laughs> I definitely think it would be the first time I met my husband, which was on the red carpet of his first film, Memento. Oh, nice, <laughs> beautiful, fantastic. I hope you get to do that. Thank you for entertaining <laughs> us. <laughs> Thank you, it's lovely meeting you. Thank you.